Hello and welcome to CS230. This is lecture 14 and lesson 4. In this particular lesson now we're going to look at testing the database that we created in lesson 3. So we use phpMyAdmin to set up uh, a, a database. We have three tables, our address table, our customer table, our customer address real table which um, is essentially the relationship between the, the these two entities here from our logical data model. So now what we want to do is use PHP in order to be able to query that MySQL. So we're going to do a few things. I mean, we're interested in CRUD activities, um, create, retrieve, update, and delete in general. But um, for now, we're just going to look at how we might just get some data into the database. I'm not going to use PHP to delete anything. I'm just going to use it to create, and I can delete using the PHP My Admin tools. And then speaking of deleting, we did, at the end of the last lesson, add some data. So I want to just delete those data from my, from my um, tables just so that we can proceed for the future. So we're just back with a table that only has Lucas in there. So, um, and that that's and Lucas lives in this one address in Tolo County, Carlo. Okay, so let's go back then um, and delete the other customer data. Let's get them rid of these. Okay, and get rid of these. So we're just left with single record, okay? And um, we just have a single record telling us that uh, Lucas's um, data, address data, he uh, has, is, is his physical address, his shipping address, it's not his billing address because he doesn't have a billing address set up, and that address is active, okay? So we, we have those data already set up as part of our test. Right, so next thing we need to do then is we just, well, we'll go back to the lessons for a second. So we one of the things that happens is that in order to be able to work with tables, three tables, we have to understand um, joins on tables in the database. Remember now, there are four kinds of joins in SQL. There's the inner join that returns all the records that have matching values in both tables, a left join, a right join, and a full join. And we're really interested in the inner join, um, and or just join sometimes, okay? So we're interested in how we might be able to uh, access addresses associated with customers where the association is held in the customer address table. And that's the key line there, okay? We're going to be using an example of an inner join on tables where we're interested in, in accessing addresses associated with customers where that association is held in our customer address table. And I'll just correct that. Okay, so, and you can do that using this simple SQL. So I've written it for you. So you select the first name, last name, and air code, for example, from customer C, so we're giving a you know a shorthand notation for that particular table, joined with customer address C A on customer address ID. So we're we're showing how these and let's join with the address table on the address ID. So we can see that you know the foreign keys are being used and we're interested in selecting the physical addresses for those customers. And that's all it does. And we're actually we're just interested in the air code part of that. Okay. So we're merging these. So it, all it does is extracts the physical addresses associated with the customer. So you can actually do this and create this now. So we could actually create use SQL to create um, the data for the table. And you know that little tool that I showed you last time um, where we were able to generate all these data, um, we could uh, use those to do this kind of steps. So we want to what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to insert a record for the address into the database, okay? with these values, and then we're going to um, decide whether, and so we want to insert data for a uh, user as well, and then we could, um, oh, I haven't got a user in here, but we could add one. Then when we have the address, then we can set this particular uh, address to be a shipping, an active, a billing address for the user that for, for the user or the customer that was created. Okay, so we can actually access this information when we insert into um, the database using PHP, there are some variables that we can set. So we want to associate whatever the last customer ID is and the last address ID and set up that address. So, so we're interested in ways of finding how we can execute these kinds of queries in PHP and then update the, the database. Okay, so the, it's easy, it's fairly straightforward to do. So another thing we like to be able to do when we write our PHP programs is we want to be able to show our tables and we want to be able to show those tables nicely in HTML so that we dump these. So here's a way to do this. You know, I've given some code and you can have, it's a fairly straightforward example. You print the headers for the address and you're able to get the data that's pulled back from the table. So that's really the core activities that we're interested in. Um, we're going to run everything from the command line 
okay, and just save the output so that we can look at the generated code. And um, you could place it into the htdocs directory of your XAMPP installation. You could put it in phpfiddle.org. I'm just going to do this manually. So I have a few little things. So let's jump into the code and have a look. Okay, so here's my PHP code. It's a DB Connect test. Um, it's, we're embedding the PHP in this document. I have some styles because I want my tables to look nice when I print them. Um, and really then I'm starting my PHP starts here, okay? And um, I have my database um, uh, information, my credentials to log in are separate from the actual application. Here's my link to the database. I'm making that connection. Um, I'm using my SQLI here, um, procedural. And then this is my function to show the customers. So really I'm just selecting star from customer. It's the same kind of command. And then I'm executing the query here, executing that query with this link to the to the database. And then for all while we still have rows, I iterate and uh, assuming I got some results back, I generate a table and then I generate the header and then I iterate over all the data that are in this table, pull out all the information you know that we know already, and then I free up the results so that we can we can do that again and or or I give some error to say there's no records at the table so it's nice that's one for customers and that's one for addresses this is one for to show the billing address and that this really implements the um implements the query that we had a little bit earlier where we were just able to use that in that that join on the table so i mean everything works the same way it's mostly about understanding your database okay so here's a, an example to actually show the physical addresses for customers and um, this one just shows the billing addresses so and really what i'm doing i'm interested in in uh, the where clause okay so we can actually where the billing address is one and then here we have um, the physical address where the physical address so you know it's fine it's nice to be able to do this so i can view the tables with this and, and it looks nice and then um, I have some code that's written to be able to add data into the tables but let's look at it first and have a peek and see how this works for us okay so I'm running the program up here in this top left okay and they, and I'm I'm uh, executing the program from the command line and I'm I'm just showing the output to to the, the terminal display here and I'm also piping using the T command to uh, a file called phptables.html which I'm then going to load into my browser Okay, so let's do this. Okay, and so this is the data. So everything that was output so from the program, and you can see it's just a HTML document, and this appears in this PHP tables. So if I pop up my Vivaldi, which and I'll have a look, and I can load that, and here we go, we can see here's the database. Here's Lucas Connor, as we know, he has an address. And um, here's the physical addresses, because we know that Lucas has his physical address, and we're able to pull that information. Okay. Lucas has no billing address, so uh, we're told this, and it all looks fine. And we're running this one, and it's not, we're actually not running a node at all. I just obviously have a mistake in my program there. Let's fix that quickly, because um, it's running, it's just running on terminal. Okay, and we'll just pop up here, run this again, and we'll go back to here load the data and we see we're here so it's fine so this is good okay so what we really want to do is we want to be able to add some data so remember i had this randomly generated data over here i'm going to use one of those lines in my in my program now and i'm going to re replicate all of this stuff again here and uh let me go back to my code obviously i've pre-written the code um and I'm going, we looked at the tables already now we're going to actually create a new customer give them an address and make it address physical and billing. So we're creating the customer, inserting it into the database. We're saving the saving the ID that was automatically generated, our circuit key. Then we're going to create the address, do the same thing again. We're inserting into the address table and we're going to save the key. And now we're going to make the um, active address physical and billing for this customer using these two pieces of information. Okay, then I'm going to show all the tables again and show that it worked. Okay, we'll get rid of that comment there. We run it in the exact same way as we did last time. We, let's just clear this. We're executing the command from the command line. Again, we can put this into our, our, our local, our hcdocs directory if you wanted. Okay, a lot of work happening here. Let's go and have a look and see what happened when we create this. And now, so there was no record. So we've just created a new record and we you see we saved the ID. We saved the ID here. 
now our table has changed from just having Lucas Connor in here to Lucas Connor and Leela Healy in the table. Now we've all the data that we had expected for Leela. She lives at Grass Glen Gardens in Multifarnham. And now we can see the physical addresses for both Lucas and Leela. And we can see that Leela has this um, billing address. And we didn't have a billing address prior to, to that. Okay, let's try to do that again, just to verify that our, our um, constraints are working. In other words, that Leila Healy, um, with this date of birth, already exists in the database. So if I try to do it again, and in fact, she has this email, and we've a constraint on our mobile, but the first thing we'll check, and ultimately, is that if we try to do it again, we should get some error to say that, there's that, that she exists in the database already. So let's try run that program again, run it here again, and see what happens. Okay, okay. so we can't see much that's happening here because we just uploaded some HTML. Let's... Ah, so look, you see we got some errors and I've made them red and it tells us that we can't insert into the customer duplicate entry for Leila, for Leila Healy. This is on the, she's checking on the email. Um, it's also a, a duplicate address on this key here. So it's, you know, there's, a, there's a, an address problem here and there's all sorts of stuff going on which is exactly what we want so getting errors is not a problem okay and um, because that's what we expect to happen we want we wanted it to be an error at that point so we do that and we can handle it and so it's fine so we just see that the, we didn't update the records and it's all just fine okay so that's a little bit about how you can do and use PHP to manipulate your database you, you can see that a lot of it hinges on understanding the key commands I am um, for insertion and um, Really, that's all understanding how they're constructed for fee for keys and foreign keys, and you know also how to be able to join the tables. So it's um, it's it's doable. It's fine, and uh, we were able to quite easily query and insert data and verify that the indexes are working as well, which is always very nice. Okay, we leave it there. Thank you very much for watching.